Good evening. Welcome to the Board of Selectmen meeting. Uh, the meeting is being audio and video recorded. If you would please stand and touch the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great. Uh, the only item on tonight's agenda is the final bicentennial um, celebration. Um, so today is marking the 201 anniversary. Um, I'd like to welcome everyone here, um, and I'd really like to thank all the volunteers over the past year for everything they've done and all the celebrations they've had. Um, I'll first turn it over to Jerry Lawrence, chair of the 200th anniversary committee. Uh, hi, everybody, and uh, thanks for being here tonight, and thank you for everybody's help over the year. Uh, I know some of our events were challenging, some of them were new to us, and uh, a lot of them were very, very exciting. Uh, I want to thank Paula. Uh, Paula's kind of been the, uh, the vice chair, and it would be one in the morning, two in the morning, six in the morning, I'd come up with an idea, I'd call Paula. I'm like, Paula, I'm going to forget this, put it down. So Paula put it down and make sure we followed through. And uh, we did a lot of brainstorming over the year and working with a lot of the department heads and a lot of organizations in town. I also want to thank David. Um, probably six years ago, five years ago, I think I was appointed the uh, liaison for the 20th anniversary celebration. I had a, a grand idea that I wanted fireworks, and uh, when I left being selectman, I thought for sure that wouldn't ever really happen. And David worked diligently, uh, especially with the police chief and fire chief, to make sure that happened. And if you were here for that, not only um, do we have fireworks? They were spectacular fireworks. Uh, they could be seen all over town. And uh, so, David, sincere thank you for making sure that the vision continued. And uh, without you, I have no doubt that night wouldn't have happened. I want to thank the Board of Selectmen uh, for their vision and uh, for all their support throughout the year. There's a few small tokens of our appreciation, uh, t shirts and whatnot from the Boomer Day for the celebration. Thank you. Uh, so, tonight's our, our wrap up. And uh, we're going to kind of have a recap of everything that went on throughout the year. Uh, if I was talking to the 250th anniversary chairman right now, I'd say do a one-day event and wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> a whole full year-long thing, really, it was a lot of work. Yeah. And uh, it was a lot of work, but uh, really, I just kind of worked with different organizations in town. Uh, the first church was spectacular. Uh, we held numerous events over there. We had a ham and bean dinner. We had a... Um, uh, an Irish dinner there with Irish step dances, and of course we had our kickoff. And uh, for those that don't know why we held the kickoff there, that's where our town all began. That's where all our town meetings took place. Um, that's where our forefathers began what's West Bridgewater today. And uh, in a collaborative effort, Paul and I and David thought uh, the best way to wrap this year up is to do a time capsule. So that's why we're all here tonight. And um, it's been truly an amazing year. Um, each department held numerous events. I, of course, have my favorites. I gotta tell you, uh, one that I was extremely impressed with uh, was Chris and Sean's uh, and the whole entire department over there, the DPW, along with the fire department, did an incredible display of our town vehicles. And I remember stopping by, I was over at another event, and I stopped over and Chris goes, it's finally getting quiet. I'm like, quiet, you can't see a piece of equipment. There was people everywhere, and it was so great to see that. Uh, the softball tournament was incredible. I'm still not sure if the school department appreciated my prize for that we awarded them. <laughs> but uh, we had a great time. And I'll tell you, I've said it a hundred times, the school uh, softball team, though they didn't uh, score that well, they had the true spirit of the whole event. There were teachers from kindergarten teachers through high school. There were administrators. There was new teachers. There was old teachers. There was male teachers. There were female teachers. It was truly a whole uh, school spirit. So. Uh, Mark, for that, I say thank you for, for the whole school department. Um, sometimes you may know I get teared up a little bit. I can tell you I was at graduation, and when I saw every kid walking down wearing their 200th anniversary pin, got me a little emotional. It was a, it was a great thing to see that those kids could help celebrate, and that's a unique thing that was uh, only to given to that class. Uh, so I thank the school department. Uh, the Old Bridge Order Historic Society, I don't think they're represented here tonight. They held numerous events. Uh, on behalf of the town. They had some historic speeches. Uh, they had a scavenger hunt throughout the town. Uh, the Lions Club, uh, we are celebrating our 75th anniversary that coincides with the town's 200th anniversary. The Lions Club kind of worked as the Clarence House and helped fund some of the events. 
We had an awesome paint night where people can come and paint the uh, Triple Arch Historic Bridge. Um, I do have some photos of stuff that I'm going to put in the time capsule uh, of all these events. And of course, all of our favorite was the West Bridgewater beer, which by the way is now being made for East Bridgewater's to one of the, a different beer. But uh, <laughs> So we had some really unique things and a lot of them started out years ago as a vision that Paul and I collaborated on and we made it happen with everyone's help. Um, so I think now you want me to add these belongings to the... Uh, yes. Okay. During, the um, during the big event kickoff at the First Church, we had numerous accommodations, including one from the Governor and the State Senate, and those will be added to our time caps. We have some photos and uh, of all the brochures and some of the events. Um, if you drove around town, no doubt you probably saw in some of our businesses also helped us celebrate. Um, happy anniversary, happy 200th, happy bicentennial was all over town on the on the different businesses signs. Uh, so we have some photos of those to be added to the time capsule. Park Day helped celebrate. This was our uh, uh, big year for Park Day. It was our 31st year. Really, it was the 30th year because uh, one year was kind of canceled. Uh, so we're going to add a Park Day program so people can see the fabulous time we had. Uh, the Lions Club had numerous items made, and one was a coffee mug depicting different scenes around town. So we'll be adding that to the time capsule. Of course, we have two of the beer cans. Uh, we had three beers, I believe, that were produced. I only have two. <laughs> one might have went down a little bit easier than the rest. <laughs> so we added those beer cans to the time capsule. We had, as I mentioned, we had a spectacular um, first night at the First Church. And here's our guest book. We had miniature flags made uh, that were given out at an exclusive event at the Council on Aging. Uh, Marilyn ran an awesome, awesome event over there, and she'll be talking about that later. Uh, I'm going to add these flags, and hopefully the 200th anniversary, 250th anniversary committee can sell them to help fund their events. <laughs> we have our 200th anniversary coins. I'm putting four in the, in the vault. And again, these uh, will be spectacular for them to be receiving in 50 years. We have our pins, uh, very nice pins that were given out at numerous events, all town employees and everyone that came to the uh, kickoff event. I'll be adding those to our vault. I'm sneaking in the 75th anniversary pin for the West Bridge Road Alliance Club. <laughs> <laughs> all of our town vehicles, there was great pride seeing our 200, all our vehicles were marked with a 200th anniversary decal, and we'll be adding one of those to the vault. We had t-shirts made. Uh, there were two versions. One was for the Lions Club for the Diabetes Walk, celebrating both the Lions Club anniversary and the town of West Bridgewater's anniversary. And the other that I just presented to the selectmen uh, was the round insignia with all the different villages and the year 1822, 2022 on there. We added to the vault. We had note cards made depicting numerous uh, historic sites around town that were available for purchase and still are. We had our 80s night, another spectacular event, probably held at the most historic, uh, long-running business in town. And if you haven't been there, they did an awesome job renovating it. Uh, the tickets and invitations were printed to look like old postcards from 1909, and uh, all depicting different scenes from the Canoe Club. Those will be added to the book. For the people that were really um, <laughs> instrumental in our fireworks night, uh, we have a replica. This was actually made from one of the spent um, spent fire shells from the uh, fireworks night. Some miniature versions of our 200th anniversary pin uh, sticker, and finally an outline of the actions of the 200th anniversary committee signed by Paul and I. Awesome. Wow. Is there any room for anybody else? <laughs> 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 WB Mason box, or whatever, know where we bought our paper from. That's it, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Uh, so, each of the um, department heads or uh, members of the community who held an event um, has something to place um, in the box or say something. Um, so, we'll start with um, the DPW director, Chris Anatelli. Sure. The West Bridgewater Department of Public Works celebrated the 200th anniversary of the town by hosting a special event. A touch-the-truck day was held 
on Saturday, May 7th, 2022, from 10 to 1. The department's trucks and equipment were on display for the residents to enjoy. Dozens of residents, young and old, were on hand to view and climb in and on everything from pickups, dump trucks, loaders, tractors, and even a ladder truck from the fire department. Personnel from the DPW, water, and fire department were on hand to greet residents. Refreshments were served. This event was a total success and well received by everyone. And so we have the flyer that we had around town and a few photographs of the day to go with the cover letter. Thank you, Chris. Um, up next, we have Vic Flurry, Chief of Police. The Police Department did their um, safety day, uh, also coincided with the Riverwalk. Um, is the flyer there. And also, I in included in our packet here the entire roster of our 2022 department. Um, and then photographs, and the photographs are all numbered, and we have a description typed of what each photograph meant during the, um, the day of our softball game. Um, and I would have brought the trophy to put in there, but it won't work because, <laughs> as I have written in here, we did uh, win the. Uh, <laughs> so there is a picture of that, but there's several pictures in there of that, so that's all we put in there. Um, is it back there? Yep. Yes. Yes. Okay, there you are. Um, you're next. And the Open Space and Recreation Committee um, hosted the River Walk for 2022. It was a two and a half mile walk that went from the senior uh, middle Senior High School, left under River Street and down at the War Memorial Park. And from there, if you did the full loop and went to the far end on um, meeting up with South Elm Street and then back to the school, made the two and a half mile loop. Mm -hmm. Along that way, there were opportunities to hear folk singing, crying yoga, tour the Keefe House, visit a few farms, see a blacksmith at work, rent a canoe or kayak at the Town River Pratt's Landing. Uh, there were local food and beverage vendors along the way to stock that, as well as local honey, soap, pork, poultry, and beef items that were for sale. This event was a time for our town to connect with the river and the agricultural roots that it has. While many people have time to walk Memorial, War Memorial Park, they do not typically have time to walk along the river and River Street. Um, this gave people the opportunity not only to walk, but to bike, skateboard, roller skate, skateboard along River Street. This was uh, your once a year chance to take the views of that scenic spot in town. And the Open Space Committee wishes to thank the Board of Selectmen, Town Administrator, Highway Department, and the Police Department for allowing this to take place and be possible. And we're adding that as well as a copy of the flyer and a map that went along with the event showing the routes and what was on. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Um, Chief Kibo. So as we conclude the town's 200th anniversary celebration, I wanted to review with you what the fire department has done to celebrate 200 years of the town of West Bridgewater. Uh, each member of the department was given 200th anniversary pins to wear on their uniforms throughout the year and at special events. A 200th anniversary decal was placed on all department vehicles to display the 200th bicentennial of the town. The fire department was proud to assist with planning and coordination for our 200th anniversary field day and fireworks display on August 20th. And I will give credit to the police department for beating us in the championship. <laughs> <laughs> the second place trophy would fit in that. <laughs> it doesn't exist. <laughs> And on October 15th, the fire department hosted an open house, which included free chicken barbecue, hamburgers, hot dogs, and trinkets for the kids. We had multiple safety demonstrations set up along with all of our equipment and apparatus out for display. Thank you, and here's to 100 more good years. <laughs> I will be uh, putting in miscellaneous pictures from all events in the time. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. Uh, next, Tom Clark, Andy Anatoly. 
So as a uh, town clerk, I I didn't hold any events as town clerk, but I wanted to put into the, the box the new precincts um, divided. It's a map showing that after the 2020 uh, federal census in 2022, our precinct lines changed, and I thought it would be kind of cool to put it in there, then they could see in 50 years, you know, <laughs> I'm kind of thinking they probably will have another precinct by then. But, uh, that they could compare to what um, we had at this time in 2022. I also did the street listing book and I used the logo for the 200th bicentennial anniversary on that because I thought it would be neat to um, have that for the future people to see everyone that lived in the town at that time. And as a member of the Tri-Town Parade Committee, the Veterans and Memorial Day Committee in town, we during our, we were lucky enough to have the parade in our town this year in 2022, which was great because it worked with the bicentennial. We had um, a parade where we honored 200 years worth of veterans in our town. We had a huge turnout. It was a great day. Tons of people, tons of excitement. Um, we also put on our trophies that we give out for best float, best um, marching band, judge's choice, we put the medallion on it for the 200th uh, anniversary as well. So I am putting in a flyer that shows everybody who participated. It, it happened on Friday, November 11th in 2022, and it was just a great day for everyone. The Lions Club donated food, and we had a great celebration afterwards, and so I thought it would be something so they can open it up and maybe do something as well in, in 50 years. Thank you. Um, Mark Bogle, Superintendent of Schools. Um, uh, the schools really value our history. If you go into the Middle Senior High School, you'll see the lovely history wall, and as you walk through the doors, the lovely mosaic of the town seal, uh, which is wonderful because that's where we hold graduation every year down at the town park. Um, so it's always a constant reminder of our history. Uh, the Middle Senior High School students, a number of them produced a video, a 200th anniversary video that was played at our academic showcase in the spring, and it was also aired on the local cable, talking about the change in education over the years. We did, as I note in my letter, we unfortunately lost a hard-fought battle to the police department. Um, <laughs> and I promise that we'll be ready for our next game in 50 years. That's good. Give us some time to prepare. Um, the class of 2022 were given the 200th pin, and they proudly wore them at graduation. Um, and we're including in pictures of them wearing it. Um, some close-ups so you can see the pins, but also the whole entire class. Uh, and it was also mentioned at graduation. And throughout the year, we added information in our um, weekly newsletter that went home to parents about the history of West Bridgewater. Um, it was fun for me to do because I learned more and more and found lots of great pictures. And I've also tried to tap into Mr. Lawrence to try to give me some good trivia for the future. Uh, so we're including in the packet a write-up, uh, well, along with some pictures and a class of 2022 yearbook. Uh, Marilyn Mallett, Director of Elder Services. Thank you. So for the Council on Aging, um, we had a wonderful, fun day filled with, uh, well, we had a pot roast dinner. We had, um, thank you to the um, Historical Society and Chrissy Newman for wonderful artifacts from our West Bridgewater Museum. And Chrissy did a wonderful um, display and talk on some of these items. We had ended the day with wonderful root beer floats and a take-home mug. We also had um, with us uh, Senator Walter Timothy. Um, we had Town Administrator David Gay, the attended it, Board of Selectmen. Thank you very much. And I'd like to thank, again, Chrissy and especially Jerry for all the help he gave us. He was, um, um, he's a master at this. I think we all know that. We have photos as well of the day. Some people in the vintage car. It was kind of fun. And we're proud to put this in the bucket. Thank you. Um, 
Monday, April 4th, 2022, the West Virginia Public Library dedicated their FAR program, which stands for Fun and Reading, for adults with developmental disabilities to the West Virginia Bicentennial. The topic of the program was celebrations, the West Bridgewater 200th anniversary, and seven, we had seven people who attended the program. We also dedicated our entire summer reading program to the 200th anniversary. We had a sign, so if you walked in um, right before the lobby, it, I, I forget exactly what it said, but something about celebrating the 200th anniversary. Um, so every patron who came and attended any of our summer reading programs I'm putting that right up in there, as well as just the list of the staff that we had over the calendar year for 2022, along with the trustees and our two regular volunteers. Ben Smith, Director of um, Cable Access. Thanks. So West Bridgewater Community Access Media is proud to be part of the ceremony. Um, we've been covering a lot of stuff in the town for about 20 years now, and last year we covered the 200th ceremony um, over at the First Church in West Bridgewater, uh, the fireworks, um, baseball games, and so we're including a USB drive with uh, all those events on it for them to play. There's a little conversation on whether or not they'll be able to play it in the future. <laughs> not confident they will. Maybe they can just Google it. And use a it's a USB thumb drive, um, but some other things we have on there as well is the high school ribbon cutting ceremony the field dedication, and um, the 2019 um, boys varsity football at Gillette Stadium. So, uh, happy to include it. Thanks, Ben. And um, finally, Administrator Kick. Yeah, so my report is going to focus really on field day, because I'm really hoping that in 50 years from now, that they're going to want to try to duplicate that effort. But I do want to say first, Working with everybody through the entire year, um, it was just, it was just really, it was, it was just really a terrific experience. And you're right, Jerry. We could have done one night, um, but the truth of the matter is, regardless of all the work, it really came together well, and, um, and it makes this night even more special. So, so my message to the future is this: is that I'm so happy that I am part of this wonderful town. The department heads, employees, volunteers, and residents all came together to make this the most memorable year. One highlight of the year was our field day, something I'm hoping that you'll duplicate again in the future. The day was warm, sunny, and bright. The parking lot was full of vendors displaying their goods, terrific food, and yummy beverages to drink. On the baseball diamond, because we had to talk about that, right? We were all entertained by softball games played by fire, police, school, and youth sports. In the end, the police department did win the trophy. However, please note, <laughs> They just squeaked by the fire department. <laughs> Folklore may tell you differently. I'm sure that number is just going to grow and grow by that. Um, thanks to Lions Club, we had a distinguished Grammy nominated award singer to sing the national anthem. Musical bands played into the night. Dancing and joyful singing were all around. The night was capped off with approximately 500 to 600 res residents mesmerized by a 30 minute first rate fireworks display at the fields. They were simply amazing. During the day, the spirit of West Bridgewater was captured. Fun and laughter accompanied by the generous souls of the town that donated to the food pantry. It was truly a once in a like a once in a year, a, to, a once in 200 year event. I wish you could have all been there to see it, but you will have your chance. You will now be able to do the same thing on your 250th, and we ask you to do a field day at that point. It is my hope that in 2072, that the town is still the amazing and wonderful town that I am so proud of to be a part of today. Wishing you all warm wishes. Cheers. Thanks for being here. Thanks, David. And now each board member has uh, written a letter to put in the capsule as well. Um, so we'll just let them Thank you. Uh, so to the future residents and taxpayers of West Bridgewater in the year 2072. Happy 250th anniversary. First and foremost, I'm honored and proud to write to you as a lifetime resident of West Bridgewater. I had the opportunity to live anywhere in the world, and my husband and I, having both grown up here, chose to live in this community and raise our children. I hope our children are still in town and active within the community with their own families when this letter is reopened and read. In my childhood, I felt that West Bridgewater was a sleepy farm town. 
You had to drive past farms and tractors to get to the highway. My siblings and I would play outside until the street lights came on, and we knew the names and faces of most of our neighbors. We went to the dump every Saturday morning with our parents, where they said their hellos to other parents doing the same chore. We grew up playing sports at the YAA fields and purchasing snacks from the snack shack. I learned to drive on a Sunday afternoon when a certain police officer may or was not working. I didn't realize the chief would be here, but that may or may not be a true story. <laughs> now that I have my own family and children in this community, I see parts of the farm town still in existence in West Bridgewater. Though there are significantly fewer farms as compared to my childhood, the dedication to preserving the history has strengthened. The conversations about preserving River Street, adding sidewalks, and strategic planning around future needs of the different ages of the community continue to occur. Available land has been purchased by the town to prevent development whenever the voters permit. Financial resources are being strategized to provide the services and recreation expected by the community. So many people are volunteering and working together to preserve the small town feel of West Bridgewater. The only way I believe our small town feel of a community will continue is with continued efforts by our volunteers, maybe specifically Little Andersons. It is our resident, resident volunteers who have steered this town and who will continue to lead us into the future. I expect the community to pull together and continue this legacy over the next 50 years and beyond. When this letter is read in 2072, I may or may not still be here at 92 years old. I do, however, do expect some of my family to still be living in West Bridgewater. I hope they feel the same sense of pride and community I experience by living here. I hope the excellent education continues to launch students to their full potential I hope access to community through the Library and Council on Aging continues to strengthen relationships. I hope West Bridgewater continues to be a desirable place to live and raise a family on the South Shore of Boston. With gratitude, Meredith Anderson. Happy 250th anniversary, West Bridgewater. As a community, we celebrated the 200th anniversary throughout the year. The most memorable celebration was held on August 20th, and I believe it best encapsulated the spirit of our town. Blue sky, brilliant sunshine, temperature was in the high 80s, and it was a day full of fun and laughter. The day opened with softball tournaments, and food and local vendors filled town hall's parking lot. The celebration closed in the evening when the community came together and watched the most amazing fireworks display. If the enjoyment of the day could have been measured in miles, it would equate to the moon and back. While we are a right to farm community, we have made strong efforts to preserve open space. Our ability to do so was hampered over the years. As the cost of living and demands for housing increased, we were compelled to allow more dense building. The loss of beautiful green lush fields was not our desire or our choice. We hope that the treasures of our time still exist. The farms along River Street where livestock graze and the earthy scent of pasture land and hay fill the air. War Memorial Park, small enough to not get physically lost, but most tranquil with the sound of town river rushing and trails on which to meander. Our town library evolved from a place of silence and books to a knowledge center, complete with a 3D printer and events for all ages, including an occasional library. Our efforts were fierce to maintain West Bridgewater as a small community and balance that with conveniences and responsible businesses. We were fortunate to have many residents volunteer to be on boards, committees, and commissions, as well as elected, all with a common thread, their love for this community. Perhaps you still hold town meeting. If you do, I hope the room is packed with voters prepared to freely ask questions and speak passionately. I know as a community we did our best to make wise and thoughtful decisions. 
I hope your 250th celebrations are filled with much happiness and enjoyment, and that West Bridgewater continues to bring joy to many celebrations to come. God bless West Bridgewater. Respectfully, Denise Ray's Vice Chairman. Thank you, Denise, and um, I will read mine. 50 years from now, you will open this time capsule and see what wonderful events were held celebrating the 200th anniversary of the town of West Bridgewater. <coughs> it is my hope that when you open it, some members of today's community will still be present. If any of my future children or grandchildren are hearing this speech in February of 2072, just know that I am watching from afar. Who knows, maybe I'll still be here. Um, I love this town, it is special, and I have had the unbelievable opportunity to be born here, graduate here, live here, and represent the town as a selectman, and I wouldn't change a thing. While a selectman, the board coined the phrase West Bridgewater, a great place to live, learn, work, and play. I am hoping that, that the wonderful town that we have today will be the same wonderful town that you will be celebrating in 2072. Now that we have had a great year of events to celebrate, including the best fireworks show I've ever seen, but I expect that to be topped in 250 years or 50 years from now. A few tidbits of advice. On a warm night, go outside, enjoy the sounds of nature. It's a real treat for WB residents many other communities don't get to experience. Leave, explore the world, but always come back home to West Bridgewater. Finally, don't start skiing in your 30s. Trust me, I'm <laughs> sitting here with a broken arm right now. <laughs> Lastly, hoping you have a wonderful and fun 250th town anniversary celebration. And after I place this um, in the box, we'll head downstairs for the burial. times. Um, the first one was at the Council on Aging, and then we held an open house on the 20th for that fantastic event. And um, our project for the year was to be to uh, restore the Drury Bell. Uh, we have had it repainted, and um, we are in the process of with Christy and Telly's health in the highway department of pulling an original stone out from under a bush. It's an original stone of the um, Howard School, and there are many pieces of stone there as well, so maybe that will be something for the future. Uh, we are putting in um, our plans for the restoration, and we are adding to it uh, Jim Benson's book of West Bridgewater nice. as um, historical preservation. And also, we had a locket um, from the 1776 and um, 1776 and 1976, <laughs> um, which was a lovely pendant you could wear around your neck. And the front has a profile rock on it, and the back has First Church and um, the center tree. So that's what nice. we're putting in. Nice. Okay, and now we can all um, head downstairs. everyone for coming tonight. I want to thank you for all your efforts over the last year as we celebrate the big 200th anniversary. Happy 201th anniversary West Bridgewater and I think we've all challenged David to have another big fireworks night. Maybe this summertime, maybe, maybe not. Uh, but again, thanks for everyone that came out tonight. Thanks for all your efforts and thanks for your love of the town. Everyone, so the, um, the time capsule has been placed and will be um, buried by the excavator. 
Um, at this time, this is it for this part of the celebration. Um, everyone's welcome back upstairs for some refreshments for the champagne and some anniversary of the year, I believe. Um, so is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? So moved. All in favor? Aye. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.